here with Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for December. I hope you guys are doing well. The very first card that you got, just like Gemini, is the wheel. Both of you guys got this first and wanted to go first. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers you happiness. The wheel, going around full circle. And the wheel, new beginnings. New beginnings meaning something's going to end. So this might be a bit like the tower in the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Time to make new plans. So for some of you, the light at the end of the tunnel will be coming for you, which would indicate for some of you that maybe you've been in a hard time for a while. And so this is really good news. This is good news to have light at the end of the tunnel and also together with, right, these are side by side, together with that it's destiny, it's destined. It's destined to, uh, for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel, to see that there is an end to this. Everything goes in cycles. Uh, so for those of you who may have been uh, in a bit of a hard time for a while, that the end, the, the, the light is going to be showing up for you to see a way through it. Sometimes in that dark night of the soul, okay, so for some of you, if you've been in that dark night of the soul, it can feel like it's just going to keep going and keep going. Um, and so seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, what that actually looks like in your life situation is actually seeing, you know, a way through. Or seeing that something good can come of it or having some kind of opportunity show up that feels like it would pull you out of it, uh, that kind of thing. And the wheel going first and wanting to go first is to say it's destined to, to go this way. It's also saying that it was destined to happen, um, that it was, it was meant to happen. Uh, but now it's it's coming to an end. It's going. The wheel is turning, and it's coming to an end. And this card also said, right, to breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, this is saying that you will, with this light at the end, you know, as if something's going to happen for you guys. <laughs> I'm excited for you because I know what that feels like when you've just been trying so hard to get through something and just just don't know the way through. To to have a light come through, it's just. Oh, oof. It does. It allows you to breathe again. Uh, you're also getting the, the, the card that says to breathe. And so what this is say, saying is that, that many of you will have this feeling. Will have this feeling uh, come up for you in December when something happens that shows you that you're getting close to the end of this. That is so, That makes me so happy for you. That's so great. December is going to be a good month, I think, for a lot of people. Whatever that situation was, whatever, you know, it could be that some of you have been trying to make something work. Uh, maybe that's part of what, uh, maybe that's part of what's had you in, in a situation for a while where it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, and and it could be um, that you've been trying to make something work. Uh, this one is coming up for those of you who feel that way, to say that that's not for you. When something takes that much work, uh, and they're saying that you're going to know who they're speaking to. Because <laughs> I asked them, I said, okay, who, who are we speaking to? And they said, oh, they'll know. <laughs> uh, all right, so if this is for you, um, uh, this is to say that the situation that you're trying to make work is not for you. And you can tell that because you've tried so many things. And it looks like you've tried a lot of things and it's just not working, not working, not working. And the thing is, it's not you. And so, so what can happen for those of us in that situation is you might feel like, okay, well, it's not working because, because I just haven't come up with the thing that's going to make it work yet. That you, that you put that on yourself to, to, to think that, 
you just haven't figured out what's going to make it work yet and you then sort of give yourself a little pep talk to keep going and keep trying to come up with something to make something work and this is this is coming in to say you know really take a look at that it could, it could be this is not for you if you're having to if you're having to deny yourself to make something work it's not for you if you're having to uh, lie cheat and steal wow if you're having to lie cheat and steal for those of you <laughs> if that resonates with you um, then it's not for you uh, if you know it's just just um, also, it could be just that it's just not for you, that you can keep working at it, but um, they're, they're inviting you to really look at how much of your life do you want to use trying to make you know something work, sort of force something to work. This could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be the idea of you having an idea of what someone else should be doing. This, you know, could be a parent. So maybe there, maybe spirits speaking to a parent about their children. For those of you, if that resonates, maybe there's something. If, if um, as a parent, there's something that you want your child to do or accomplish or be, and you've been trying to make that work like that, and it's not working. It's, it's not for you. So. If, if, if anyone resonates with that message, they're wanting to say that, you know, sort of to each his own. It's like the relationship with your child will go much better with acceptance and uh, appreciating uh, what your child is wanting to do. And as a parent, uh, being supportive of it, as long as it's not hurting them, you know. Uh, kind of thing, um, but if it's, you know, you hear it, it's been in the movies and stuff where the father wants the son to to be in, in a particular profession because that's what he was in and that's what his father was in, and it could be, you know, these, these children coming in now, they, and the world is changing so fast, their profession could be completely different um, from what's been in your family line for a long time. Uh, so. Um, I'm not sure where this is coming from, so uh, assuming maybe somebody's this is resonating with somebody, uh, that, that it's about your relationship with your child will go much, much better when with a bit of acceptance of what it is that they are gifted with and what they are um, um, would like to pursue their, their passions. Uh, more as a parent, encouraging them to follow their heart not so much where the, it's been in the past. This card came up and was it was kind of set in the reading later, but it's wanting to come up now uh, in relation to what they're saying right now is to get in the present moment. We have the past and we have the future and right now in the present moment uh, is where they're wanting you to to be to say that it's it, it's um, not so much from the past. The past is over, um, and the future is yet to be determined. So they're inviting you to get into the present moment, and um, um, allowing for the for those of you that are a parent, allowing your child their gifts, and just being supportive of that if that's what they love. They're inviting you to do that as a way of seeing how quickly then the relationship can transform and light can appear at the end of maybe some struggles that have been happening for a while now. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> This is coming up with Christmas time, Christmas time, family time, uh, December. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, it's it's very much about family and uh, giving gifts and things like that. It's a time to celebrate. This is also coming up next to 
uh, next to this one, uh, at what they were just speaking to, is while this is a what looks like a man and a woman, it's also just sort of a partnership um, where a relationship that's not been working, whether it's parent-child, so now they're sort of speaking to uh, whoever this resonates with, so any relationship that's not been working for quite some time, uh, to you know, let it come full circle, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, that um, by releasing uh, the idea that they were talking about where your idea of what someone else should be doing is not up to you, that's not for you to decide. It's not for you to decide what someone else wants to do. What, what is for you to decide is what you want to do. <laughs> But what, you know, even a child, even if it's your own child, that's up to them what they would to follow their passions. So it's not for you. So releasing yourself from the burdensome situations that aren't yours to begin with. Does that make sense? So for some of you, you might be trying to have someone else do something so that you'll feel better. And that's not for you. So resolving that will be amazing that's going to bring light at the end of the tunnel so this dog's been barking since your reading started i had to start your reading twice because this dog has a lot to say so it could be uh it could be they're speaking to sort of maybe conflict uh, maybe conflicts that have been going on with other people and by by letting uh, live and let live Letting others do their thing and you focusing on your thing is when the light comes at the end of the tunnel and there can be a sigh. Whew, okay, it's not up to me what they want to do. Let it go. Release yourself from that burden. Release yourself from the burden of trying to force someone else outside of yourself to do something so that it makes you feel better. It's burdensome for you and them and the relationship. The you, the other, and the third entity that's formed by the relationship of the two of you. So let that go. And what you can do, what you can do, is um, focus on what you would like to do. That's where you have 100% control. That's what is for you, is to follow your passions. And so they're saying for you to prepare for um, anything's possible. What would you like to be doing? And to be focusing on that. Stay determined to move forward on what you would like to create. Notice we have a farmer here planting seeds. You know, so this could be something some of you may be just getting started with something, some kind of project that you'd like to, uh, some kind of seeds that you'd like to plant. That's where you want to put your focus, where you have 100% and not only control, but um, ability to control, <laughs> if that makes sense. What you do is you can do anything that you want to do. You can do anything right now, she says. And this is coming up too under this is a time to celebrate. This is a time to celebrate. You can do anything. Go after what you want. When you do, you're when you <clears throat> when you get lined up with what you'd like to do and you start getting excited about it and you start working towards it and taking steps and planting seeds, you are going to be just radiating out a different frequency than when you're in this burdensome situation. Your frequency will change and then different things, you're going to be attracting different things. What this card is saying is that you'll be attracting some really helpful, wonderful people. So, so the, the, the new resonance that you're going to have when you bring your focus towards yourself and focus on what you want is going to bring, uh, uh, life's going to reflect that for you. The, uh, then you will have the also the ability to attract people who can help you accomplish, you know, who can help you in the garden <laughs> of whatever you're trying to create. Okay, and getting within yourself, this one's coming up too, there's no place like home. So again, they're really confirming this now with this idea that it's not for you to, to 
try to have someone else doing something that you want them to do. Seems to be the big message for, for you guys. Even if it's just for one person, uh, it feels like a big one. Uh, let's see, there's no place like home, yep. So this is saying, you know, getting in the present moment in your own, what, what lights you up, what you would like to do. And once you do that, life's just gonna turn around and start bringing things for you. Success comes from this. Success comes from this objective compromise of allowing others to do their thing and you do your thing, being objective about it. This is about self-control. Where you do have control is over yourself. Patience, forgiving, and healing energy comes when you let go. <coughs> when you let go of other people wanting them to do something. You know, just accept that they're going to do what they're going to do. They are going to do what they're going to do. It's not for you, and it's just burdensome, and it's just creating conflict, and it feels like that's the light at the end of the tunnel. Archangel Michael wants to come back, that the light at the end of the tunnel is your understanding of that, 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 your, uh, that what's, what's yours and what's not yours. Yeah. The wheel is turning, so it's as if, too, this is destiny. There's a, there's a healing. There's a healing in this for you forgiveness and healing and then when that happens we have celebration this is a good reading you guys and then your final card is treasure island this is saying that you know as my readings go like a story it's like with this understanding now and you let that go you're just gonna have this light at the end of the tunnel maybe some with the dog barking <laughs> some great you know some uh, in-depth conversation, some heartfelt conversation with somebody who maybe you've been trying to force to do uh, what you want them to do. You know, this can also go the other way. This could be that a, you are the sort of child and a parent is trying to get you to do um, what they want to do, you to do. This goes both ways. This can go both ways. So, um, and, and yet they're speaking to those of you who, you know, they're speaking to you as though you, you have control over you. So if you have someone in your life who thinks that you should be doing something else based on what they think, uh, what they're saying to those of you is stay determined. Just stay determined, stay focused, stay present, stay in your own self, take steps to your own self, and then helpful people will be attracted to you. Helpful people will be coming to help you with it. Yeah, that's what they're saying. And Treasure Island then, as you come around and start taking steps and planting seeds towards what you're wanting, that's when the success can come. Healing, forgiveness, moving on getting into the present and then moving into the future the way that you would like to go. Treasure Island is a wonderful card. It's one of the best cards you can get in this Oracle deck to say that, you know, that's where the treasure is. This is also coming up under no place like home. You are the treasure. <laughs> you are the treasure. And when you focus on you, that's when wonderful things can happen planting seeds, and having great people come into your life that support you, that help you with what you'd like to do with your dreams. Treasure Island is your final card. That's a great, that's a great one. I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. Today is Thanksgiving Day, so if you celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Have a great Christmas in December if you celebrate that. I love you guys. Have a wonderful December. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.